Hey, what's up everybody? This is April over at the Resellers Learning Curve. I realized on my last video after I posted it that in my intro I actually said the wrong channel. Um, in case you didn't know and you subscribe to this channel, I have a recovery channel which is not, um, doesn't have a lot going on in general because I am way more selective about my content um, so I apologize for that oversight because I did not mean to give that channel in my intro last time so I didn't want anybody to think that I was trying to um, scheme on subscribers or anything like that it was an honest mistake so the reason that I am coming to you today is kind of fun I think I've talked about this before but if I have I have not discussed it in a while so the one thing that I wanted to discuss today is a good way to de uh, diversify your resale business. Um, the one thing that I constantly, constantly come across in reselling is people who um, see the items that I buy for myself and the items that I buy for people that I know and the prices that I get them for and they're very interested in having me find items for them um, and so I have a arm of my business where I am a personal shopper and I love this I love that I love personal shopping because it's honestly I would say the service arm of my business um, it's way different than selling on eBay and on Amazon and obviously you are dealing a little more closely with your clientele so if you sell online because you don't really like dealing with people personal shopping probably isn't for you but if you just love to shop and you love to be able to flip your fabulous finds into cash I would recommend you think about personal shopping um, I would find it odd if I spoke to a person who said that they had never had anyone approach them about buying items or if they said that they had never had anyone ask for the shirt off their back because that's something else that happens to me not super often but from time to time people have absolutely asked me if they could have what I was wearing and because I thrift the item the items and I'm not usually um, tied to them emotionally sometimes I'll let them have them um, it just depends on the item so that is something I want to encourage you guys to do. If someone approaches you and they're interested in hiring you to buy items for them in the thrift stores, absolutely do it. Um, the one thing I'm going to say is like a key to having a successful personal shopping business is you have to save people money. Um, the, the big difference between personal shopping and selling your items online, oftentimes on eBay, I can get my items off for top dollar. With personal shopping, the whole point that um, the whole reason that people hire me is because they want to have really nice name brand stuff, but they don't want to pay those name brand prices. So, sorry about that. So, sometimes um, I'll find something and say, just as an example, say I pay $10 for an item. As a personal shopper, chances are I'm going to charge like $25 for that item. I'm not making a ton of money on it, but here's the key here's how you make your money if you're a personal shopper you probably have five six ten fifteen items that this person's paying you for so you can double your money and if you can do that across a number of items you're actually doing pretty well um, I'm in the process right now of creating a personal shopper questionnaire for my clients and to be completely honest I don't have a ton of them right now um, typically I'll have a few men I have one guy that I don't meet with very often but when I do I take him over to my storage unit I actually for a while had a mirror in my storage unit so that he could try on clothes over there and that was his thing and he loved it he was happy I was really happy because he, he paid me really well um, and it worked out well the only thing is if you sell someone inventory that you have listed you have to remember to remove that inventory from your listing um, from eBay or Etsy or Macari or wherever you have it listed you have to just remember to remove that item so that's my tip for you guys today if you're buying items in a thrift store to flip consider becoming a personal shopper it's really easy it's really really fun and it can be really profitable and honestly 
the flips can just be way faster than selling online because I know with my pricing strategy online, I oftentimes, um, when I wait for top dollar, it takes me a while to sell items. Like I'm sitting on them sometimes for three months, six months, and sometimes even longer just because of the way that I price my items on eBay. I can sit on an item for a year before I get the price that I want for it. And that's with running constant sales. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you did, I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe as much as possible. I do try to respond to all of the comments. So I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you're out there hustling, making lots of money, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.